Hey everybody, today we are going to try to build a manifold for an air pump for the Goldfish Palooza 2019 event. Uh, I would like it to be able to break down and fit inside this box in case we need to ship it and also for easy storage. Uh, I got a whole bunch of parts here from the hardware store. Uh, these are self-tapping valves. You can get them from Amazon or Ken's Fish or Gemco. Uh, lots of little connectors and doodads. So uh, let's see what we can do. I decided to use three quarter inch PVC. Um, I don't remember why, but that's what I ended up with. Looks like I accidentally bought the thin walled stuff. Uh, not the end of the world. It'll still work. Uh, cut a piece to be 11 and three quarter inches. The box is 12 inches wide, so I left myself some wiggle room. I'm using a chop saw today because I'm building this for somebody else and I want the lines to be straight. Normally I'd use one of these do wackies, but they don't really cut straight lines and people are going to judge me. Uh, also, safety equipment. Alright, we got 10 pieces of pipe. These come in packs of 10. I like round numbers. That's perfect. Uh, to draw a straight line on a piece of round stock, here's a tip. If I remember how, you put two of them together and run your pencil down the side of it. There we go. Did that show up? Straight line. For this particular setup, we're gonna have a piece of coupling at either end of the pipe. So we need to account for that, and it looks like if I put a valve every one inch, starting at this side, everything is going to be perfect. I like round numbers. It's always good to do a test fit. Uh, I can never remember what bit I'm supposed to use. Uh, it looks like I'm using a 13 64th, whatever that means. I don't... This is my secret weapon. Uh, my first manifold, no, my second manifold was one that I built. My first one I bought, it came in a couple pieces, it went together really easy, and I realized how easy it would be to build one of these things from stuff at the hardware store, but, you know, I wasn't, uh, it was intimidating at first, but once I had one, it was pretty easy. So my second one I built myself, uh, it's up on the wall, maybe I'll show you later, and I drilled it with a hand drill, and it, uh, or not hand drill, power drill. It's very crooked. It doesn't bother me, but it's pretty ugly. So anyway, here we go. This is the tedious part. If you have a friend or a child that you can force to do this, I strongly recommend it. It would appear that I did not get self-tapping valves because they should go in easier than this, but it's going to work. We're going to make it work. I want it to work, you want it to work. It's gonna work. This is brutal and tedious and I hate it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is see if we can save my fingers a little bit and screws these in with a drill. Doug. Still going. This is the fastest way. I have found to do this. It's unpleasant. It's tedious. I forgot how much I dislike this. But here we go. Well, it's six months later. But I'm finally done. Uh, we've got the pump. We've got the, the blank set up so you can configure this however you want. Uh, different shows, different tents, different tank arrangements. I want it to be flexible. Uh, it will all fit in the box. Everything's drilled. I don't know what size pump or whose pump we're using, but I have a couple, I have a couple nipples. So I should be ready for anything. So let's set this up, plug it in, and see if I blow anything up. 
first thing you want to do is open some valves. You don't want too much pressure. Uh, if I was doing this for my house, personally, I would glue everything or solvent everything. There's a difference. But who cares? All right. Got some valves open. Let's hook up some air lines. We have a cap on the end. Nothing special there. I'll show the parts a little closer in just a minute. Let's see if this thing works. Stones. Into the drink. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Nothing's exploded. We're letting out too much pressure. So let's fix that. Hey, that's bubbles. That's a lot of bubbles. There we go. Closer look at the parts. That's just an end cap, nothing fancy there. PVC, coupling. This is what I'm using to get, to connect to the pump. It's uh, threaded on one side. Here we've got a a nylon nipple threads in right there. Uh, this one's a little small. I think this is half inch. Oh, they're barbs, not nipples. Whoops. We'll fix that in post. Uh, I've got some more coupling, more parts, and then here's the brass one and how it connects to the pump. I will make a parts list and list it somewhere. This is the connection on my personal manifold. I think I reused the parts from the Gemco one I bought. And you got a little tube that runs down to my pump there. And as you can see, it's the same idea all the way down. All the reason that you might want to build something like this for your house, it's uh, because you're insane and you just have too many tanks. So all these tanks are running off of this pump up here in the upper right corner. Uh, it's a little noisy. I wouldn't want to sleep, sleep in the same room with it, but it's efficient. I couldn't imagine cleaning a canister filter for every one of these things. Uh, on the left rack there, we've got fry tubs in the bottom. We've got green water cultures bubbling, quarantine tank in the middle, uh, the 120 and the 210 in the center there. Those are both, they both have their own pump and sumps or refugiums, whatever you want to call it. Uh, top rack left, those are running on air. This rack's full of fish, running on air. Flower horn's got air. Uh, even down on this 210, we've got a moving bed, moving media filter. That's running uh, K1 called NIS or micro K1, whatever it's called. So you gotta get a lot of mileage out of your pumps. If you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see, let us know. Um, maybe we'll take requests. I don't know. But uh, if you can get a hold of members of the Goldfish Council, usually the Goldfish Council chat group is the best way to get a hold of people and get responses. That's on Facebook. Otherwise, there's probably a contact form on the Goldfish Council website. So thanks for watching. I almost forgot. Does it fit in the box? Yes, it does. Now we can ship it. It's ready to go. Later.